Rise and shine, Itlan, geek. Why? We've consulted the ancient tomes, Itlan, and decided your fate, Itlan. What have you weirdos done to me? We've prepared you for marriage, Itlan. I sent for Carmelita, Itlan, with the intention of making her my bride, Itlan. So since you're so fond, Itlan, of impersonating her, a bride, Itlan, you shall be, Itlan. You know, you know, I get it now. I, I get it. <laughs> this is another dream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I wearing pants this time? <laughs> As punishment, <laughs> Itlan, for insulting the King Itlan on what should have been his wedding, Itlan Day, we will marry you to the lowest creature in the jungle, Itlan. And offer you both up to our god, Itlan. <laughs> We're gonna feed you to the sun. Let, let us go, Wally! Put away! Hey, hey! Let us go, Wally! Put it away! Hey! I hey, now pronounce you Breakfast hey, Itlon! Hey. Wow. Hey, this is actually pretty scary. Come on, Wally! No better, no better, no better, 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 better! Ah! I'm circling the city. Do you see Arthur? Yes! He's flying right at us! Without wings! Tick! Is... is he wearing a dress? <laughs> what is going on? Carmelita! The savages are shooting dogs at us! Well, that certainly was some crash. Are you all right, Dick? Uh, excuse me? Uh, are you speaking to me? To whom else would I be speaking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, you're speaking. The book didn't say anything about talking Aztec dog. You saved my life, Tick. And for that, I will be your loyal pet forever. It's the law of the jungle. Oh, I'll call you Speak. Because that's what you do. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can have pets in the apartment. I'll have to ask Arthur. <laughs> Arthur! My sidekick! My chum! <sighs> I gotta save Arthur. Speak, you're wise. Tell me how to get to that secret city. Sun worshipping dog launchers, you face the tick! And his dog, Speak! Get him, guys! I hope you boys have learned your lesson. In love, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things. The right way is to take someone to a movie. The wrong way is to take someone from a movie. Because kidnapping is just plain wrong. And not only that, it's wrong in the eyes of the law. Wally, I'm pretty sure they'll try you as an adult. And I'm not talking about detention, neither. I'm talking about detention! And what have we learned about Aztecs? Well, nothing really. Because you can't trust everything you read, especially in history books you get from gas stations. But you can trust Speak, right, boy? Uh, Tick, you're not planning on keeping that thing. <gasps> speak, are you awake? Come on, Speak, speak up! Come on, boy! Talk to me like you did in the wilds of Mexico. I can see it in your red-rimmed eyes, Speak. You're a righteous firebrand. Speak! We need a furry, moist Avenger like you on the team! Come on, man! Let's bark up the right tree together! Tick. Uh, oh, uh, Tick, you know he's never gonna come out if you just sit there traumatizing him day after day. 
he needs time to adjust to his new environment. But Arthur, we need him on the team. A stalwart hound to bring up the rear and bark out the clarion call of justice. This is becoming one of those tick things again, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, excuse me? You know, one of those tick things. Yeah, yeah, where you get all excited about something and suddenly it's all you can think about and the next thing you know, you're way out of touch with reality. <laughs> yeah, Arthur, <laughs> what are you saying? You've already done it. Yeah, you've constructed one of your elaborate fantasy worlds around that poor animal. How do you know? You can't just peer into a person's mind and know their secret dreams. No? Well, let me just try, okay? Uh, all right, it starts with something ridiculous, like, um... Oh, I don't know. The United Nations? Uh -huh. uh, bullseye! Uh-huh. And speak, the Uberhund is addressing the assembled delegates, hammering out a peace treaty between warring nations. Mm. Uncanny! Tous les mondes, nous sommes les amis. Here, speak! Come on, boy! Er, uh, I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen, but I have to go. The tick needs me. Oh, what a dog! Help! Help! Good boy, Speak. I love you. Right on! Help! Help! Save me! Monster! Monster! Bad monster! <laughs> Looks like Arthur's got himself into trouble again. <laughs> you know it! Come on, let's go! <laughs> It's the tick and his incredible dog, Speak! <laughs> well, you're just like little Jack Horner. You've stuck your thumb into the Christmas pie of my brain and pulled out the plum of my innermost dreams. How do you do it? Well, you're not exactly a closed book, Tick. I mean, you've been haranguing Speak about it all week. Uh, I've loosed my lips and sunk the ship of my own privacy. <laughs> Oh! You can walk! Okay, Speak. To fetch, you've got to... You've got to move. Huh? What's that, boy? Oh, of course! Silly me. You've got to get the scent of the prey before the hunt begins. Alrighty. Here you go. Mmm! Fresh ball! Speak! The ball fears you! Listen to its cry! Smell its fear! <sighs> no! Fetch! Yes, after a week of nothing but Dr. Food's food foam, your body has begun dining on itself, eating away that unsightly fat, leaving a trim new you. <coughs> Hello? Hello, Tick. Four-legged man here. We're downtown battling a maniac, and, um, the maniac's ahead by three. <laughs> Oops. Make that four. Could you lend us a hand? Roger. We'll be right down. Great! Great! Uh, gotta go! <laughs> Arthur, speak! Into the fray! Swift speak to the scene of the crime, to your first taste of villain breed. Now there's a man who's in touch with his rage. <laughs> All right, Mr. Knock Everything Over. That'll be just about enough of that. Says who? Says the Tick and his incredible dog, Speak! Who at last? A worthy opponent. Are you guys okay? We're fine, lad. Arthur, get his belt. It's the source of his strength. Oh, great. <laughs> Now speak. In crime fighting, it's crucial to keep your eye on the criminal. They're a tricky, vicious lot. And case in point. Speak! 
speak? Oh, no. He looks terrible. Tick, that's the way he always looks. No, but, but his, his eyes are all gooey, and he's moist all over. He's always moist. Yeah, but look at his fur. He's unraveling like a cheap sweater. I've got to get him to the vet. Tick, I've been telling you that for a week. Okay, Tick, you take him to Dr. Sniff. I'll help the Civic-Minded Five, and we'll meet back at home, okay? Emergency, emergency, emergency! Tick, about speak. Yes? I've got some good news and some bad news. No! I'll do anything, Duck. Money is no object. Does he need my kidneys? No, no. Speak's fine, except for a little eczema, some worms in the mange. Then what's the bad news? What's wrong with my dog? Tick, that's just it. You don't have a dog. I don't? You've got a Hydrochorus Hydrochorus. Huh? Capybara, Tick. Speak is a rodent. Ooh. But he's one of the world's largest. All right. Go, Speak! Tropical parasites, your carefree infestation ends here. Tonight, you swim in ointments of righteous hygiene. Flee before the might of modern medicine. Might slice and chiggers, your days are numbered. Yes, in this house, cleanliness is next to dogliness. Oh, <gasps> speak. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, of course, you're not a dog. You're a wonderful, lovable rodent, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, if that's your lifestyle choice, then we'll stand behind you all the way. Tick, I need your help. Carmelita, guess what? Speak's not a dog at all. He's the world's biggest rat.